it's my normal practice to delete text messages. So you delete them on an ongoing basis? That's correct. All right. That is Homeland Security Inspector General Joseph Kafari. He was appointed by President Trump. And if you think Kafari is sleazy, just wait. Mr. Goldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congressman Dan Goldman caught the Inspector General in a bold face lie when Kufari, who has a history of being unavailable, insisted he had reached out to Democrats. Did I just hear you say that you offered to come and sit with members of the majority in the last Congress? That's correct. You did? Yes. And did you ever do that? Yes. With who? Uh, Mr. Moskowitz. Um, no. Um, Ms. Porter. Mr. Uh, Moskowitz was not in Congress last Congress. I'm, I'm talking about this Congress. I said last Congress. You said last Congress. He asked you, last Congress, did you ever meet with the majority, uh, Chairman Thompson, Chairman Maloney, anyone? I met, I did meet with Chairman Thompson, did not meet with Chairwoman Maloney. Okay. Well, at least Kufari eventually told the truth. The refusal to face reality at the start was a hallmark of this Republican-led House hearing about border security. Republicans, in an effort to smear the Biden administration, insist there are law enforcement shortages along the U.S.-Mexico border. But the Inspector General's report making that claim admits the data is unreliable. Do you agree that you need reliable data to do an audit? I believe we need reliable data. We asked for that reliable data from the department. They were unable to provide it to us. Okay, so the answer is yes. I think you, we, need, we need reliable data to do an audit. And yet the data reliability of this report cannot be verified, and you actually say this in the report. So in other words, we simply do not know if the data you relied upon is sufficient to support any of the findings of this report. So essentially, this report is not verified and should not be acceptable to anyone to make any sort of conclusions. Democratic Congressman Maxwell Frost noted that Kufari's office spent over a million dollars trying to block an independent review of operations. You've run away from any efforts to conduct oversight in your office, using taxpayer money, $1.4 million, to contract a law firm to run away from accountability on your part. Florida Democratic Congressman Moskowitz, mentioned before, noted the border only seems to be a recurring political talking point for Republicans. The border's been a problem for a long period of time because Congress has failed to pass comprehensive immigration reform. Um, you know, the same people who talk about the border, you know, have, it's not like they've come up with solutions. They complain to get on Fox News every day. Uh, but it's not like we're having solutions. And back to New York Democrat Dan Goldman. He hammered the GOP with this. And when you hear my colleagues on the other side of the aisle talk about all the problems with fentanyl and with uh, gotaways and with smuggling, you know what they don't ever talk about? They don't ever talk about the tremendous exportation of American-made guns to Mexican cartels that give them the power and authority to control the fentanyl trafficking into this country. My colleague from Texas just listed a whole litany of things that are the problems we're having at the border and never mentions guns. And that's because the gun industry arguably owns the Republican Party. And if the demand for U.S. guns is up, thanks in part to Mexican drug cartels, well, that's more money for the U.S. gun industry. Funny how that works. In any case, there are clearly a variety of problems and issues related to the U.S. border with Mexico. But if Republicans were truly serious about solving things and boosting security, they would bring out more credible hearing witnesses than the Trump-appointed Inspector General. His record at Homeland Security is beyond controversial. And if Joseph Kufari, with his imaginary time machine and his lies about his record, is the best the GOP can do, these hearings are nothing more than bad political theater. By the way, over on the other side of Capitol Hill, a Republican senator recently in a fiery hearing got laughed at. I don't want reality. I'm asking the question, which one is better? That is exactly, that's exactly what it is. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.